Because the sound is the booth with the, the director and the, the engineer behind me. So I was just, oh God. And then I made it through. The hour was up. I did it. I was like, hallelujah. And then you have to go sign out. In the, you have to, you know, sign out and everything. And it was like five in the afternoon, so they were getting dinner, you know. And so I go in, and guess what they ordered? What's something like you don't want to smell when you're... Rat octopus. Well, that too. Liverwurst. Well, that too. Well, that too. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> well, that too. Well, no, it was actually pizza. Oh. So, and then, hey, want a slice? <laughs> I'm like, no, no. I, 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 and I bolted, but I ended up um, uh, getting halfway home, and I ended up throwing in the parking lot of Sizzler <laughs> in Hollywood. So it was kind of fun. That's actually my favorite migraine story now. It was awful. I made it to Sizzler. I got into the parking lot, and I, I um, and then I was, it was like an uh, echo, because there were apartment buildings. And everybody in the apartment building started coming out and like, looking at me the dumpster. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> but if, you, if you see me in Paranoia Agent, uh, you can see how it sounded because I throw up in that one. Which is kind of funny. What was the question again? <laughs> Your favorite moment? <laughs> that was my favorite. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Just surviving, you know? Getting through it is amazing. I think, I think my, my favorite. Well, I'm kind of known for uh, being a klutz, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I think it's, it's normally like the first two days of every show, I'm like, just do like really, really well so they don't think that they might want to recast you halfway through. Just like totally do the best work you could possibly do. And I remember I was like trying really hard in, uh, uh, I think it was Strike Witches. And so I uh, was like working really hard to like do the best that I could, and I like was not ready because the pre-roll was not long enough or something. And all of a sudden I was like, "Whoa! Oh my mind!" And I tripped over the cord and fell in the booth. And I, <laughs> and I just got really excited because I do that sometimes, and I like hit the ground, and all of a sudden Scott Sager goes, "Shane, you okay?" <laughs> Just give me a second, I'll be back, ready to go. So every time we're recording, Scott goes, give Jeremy enough pre-roll, she gets nervous, and then she'll hurt herself. <laughs> and so, I think that's probably my favorite, because now every time I walk in the door, Scott's like, Jeremy, make sure you have enough clearance at the doorway, because I have run into the door frame before. Um, don't hit the bookshelf. Like, I walk in, I'm like, they're going to have caution tape over everything. They're like, Jeremy, the yellow, stay away from. We'll open the door for you. So, yeah. You didn't realize how hazardous it was. You fell in the booth. I've, I've fallen in the booth a couple of times. <laughs> it's a very, it's a three by four space. There's not a lot of, I mean, it's like, there's not a lot of room to fall. She's like a kindergartner or a pre-K. Pre-K kids can trip standing. <laughs> My favorite story I ever heard was they have a pop screen in front of the microphone <laughs> and somehow Colleen Clinkenbeard accidentally licked the pop screen. <laughs> I don't know how she did it. <laughs> Fire! And sometimes it's called the spit guard. Yeah, it's really disgusting. And then she was asking who was in the booth. Who's in the party? Who's in the party? Who's in the booth? But at a, at a convention, the... <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? How do you act to like that? I don't know! See, okay, now, now I'm thinking of like when we had like this whole SARS epidemic thing, or not SARS, swine flu, you know, it's either way. Um, they had to sanitize the pop screen, so if it were any time around that, I mean, at least it would be clean, but it would taste like sanitizer, and I... Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it the next time. I'm That's there. my favorite junk food. Sanitizer. <laughs> Mine is pop screen. I love a good pop screen. I could just lick on that all day. Oh, pop screen. How many licks on the pop screen does it take to get the Tootsie Rolls in there? It. Well, they never know. This caddy, what do you have to say? A little cat thing or whatever that says. Yeah. Is it cat? Oh. It's on your hand. Oh. It's a no. Oh.
it's from bleach. Bleach. It's from bleach. Oh, bleach. It's from 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 bleach. What's your question? What's your, what's your favorite? That's not it at all. No, it's not. It's what's please. your favorite anime? Favorite anime? Uh, yeah. Favorite anime. Project Aiko. You don't even know what that is, do you? No. <laughs> it's a loser. And then come back, we'll have the rest I know now. what it is, I think. I'm not sure. I love Samurai Shampoo. <laughs> favorite one that I've worked on would be Soul Eater. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd have to say Soul Eater, too. I'm not very original, Ashley, but it is. It's awesome. Ninja Boy. Ninja Things. EA! It's EA! A Ninja Toy. <laughs> this one? <laughs> oh, I have a great awkward story. I was in a panel. Uh, it was I can't, It was me and Vic and someone else, but the, 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 there was a girl in the audience who said, after the panel, would you like to touch my glass eye? <laughs> and we were like, oh, yeah, we're touching your glass eye. So after the panel, and it looks, they make really good glass eyes now. You, you, you go up and she's like, go ahead. And you're like, <laughs> they're like, you should get a laser in it. So you could have like a laser eye. <laughs> The pointer eye or something. Uh, awesome. But it was awkward and awesome. It was yeah, awkward. That is awkward and awesome. I would love to touch that glass eye. I I have had many awkward situations. I think that's just because I'm awkward in general. But the one that keeps recurring is when I'll be at Funimation and generally on audition days or waiting outside to be let in because there's like a lock on the door because you know. I guess we had a crazy incident once. I don't know. But I'll be waiting outside and I'll recognize somebody's voice and I've worked with their voice but I don't know them. And so it's like, hi, I don't know what your name is but I know I've worked with your voice before. So you're sitting there trying to figure out what character you were playing when you heard their voice, when you worked with them and then try to see the cast list to try to figure out who it is so maybe you could say their name. And then I lose all, you know, personality, and I'm going, yeah, no, it's really cold outside. Oh, I mean, it's hot. I don't, I don't know. I'm really not I'm stupid, generally. I just am thinking really hard trying to figure out who you are. <laughs> so that happens a lot. I hate people who are good at names, because I'm terrible at names. And it's here at Funimation, we record one at a time, right? And, and so you can't memorize everyone's names, but some people manage still. Hey, Sonny. Hey. <laughs> in it all day of animation. What's your? Oh, nothing too crazy for me, but I know like uh, there's. Was it the migraine sword? <laughs> no, that wasn't. It hurt. That just hurt a lot. And uh, I, I mean, there's sometimes though you're in, in, you're in the booth and you're doing a line a couple times and you're not like feeling it and it just feels like uncomfortable that you're doing this line and then they take, and then they turn off. What happens is when they're talking in the booth, you don't hear what they're saying. You don't hear what the director or the producer or what the, the sound guy is saying. So you're thinking, oh, I must have really sucked. You know, or are they gonna like talking about replacing me or they're just saying, oh, this isn't work. Because then you see them they're doing things like this. <laughs> and they could be just talking about lunch. Right, and you just have to say, then they come back going and say, oh, sorry about that, we were thinking about what we were going to get for lunch. And but inside you're thinking, oh my god, they're talking about me. You know, that actor, right? But, <laughs> so that's kind of awkward, but then you're like, oh. My most awkward moment had to be when um, Vic and...